Incredible new video from inside the eye of Hurricane Aaron earlier this week as it became a powerful Category 5 storm. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, has its hurricane hunters perform these operations. As you can see, getting this video is no simple feat. This is video of hurricane hunters flying through the eye of Hurricane Helene nearly one year ago, getting aggressively bounced around in that plane. So that leads us to say, hey, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, let's talk about what are these hurricane hunters doing when they fly into the storms? Super important what they do for NOAA, but also for the National Hurricane Center, getting some really important imperative data into some of these hurricanes. So I want to talk about some of the aircraft they use. Some of the aircraft, they've got two of these Lockheed WP-3Ds Orion aircrafts. One's nicknamed Miss Piggy, another one is nicknamed Kermit, amongst other aircraft that they have. But these are the ones that actually fly through the eye wall of these hurricanes and can deal with wind gusts up to 150 miles per hour. And they go on these eight to 10 hour long missions. And the purpose of these missions, amongst other things, is to locate the center of the storm, find the wind, the pressure within that as well. And the way that they do this is they drop these instruments called drop sons. And what that's doing is it's gathering the pressure, your temperature, your winds, and the humidity as they fall through the atmosphere. They do this several times. And what I'm showing you here is actually some of the raw data that's coming in from the latest mission that's flying over Aaron as we speak. All right, Rachel, now there's hurricane hunters flying through Aaron right now as we speak. What is that dat data telling us? So looking at some of the latest winds, I've seen so far about 60 mile per hour winds, but I want to show you what they're dealing with right now. The latest track coming off of Puerto Rico and then flying over the eye of the storm is still ongoing. And this just in here uh, within the past couple of minutes that now they're starting to see some higher wind gusts. That highest wind speed over a 10 second average time frame is now 85 miles per hour. So they're going to be over Aaron for a while to come. So in order to show you just kind of what it would look like. I've gathered the latest data from the track that was right before this. So their mission before the current mission, just to give you an idea of what they do. You can see how they fly diagonal over the eye of the storm, trying to get the highest surface pressure, or the lowest surface pressure, I should say, and the highest wind speeds. And so that last one, uh, the pressure was down to 958 millibars. The wind speed was as high as 113 miles per hour. And this really helps National Hurricane Center forecasters saying, okay, where's the center of the storm? What are some of the winds doing within this storm so they can send out these advisories, but also that helps forecast model data as well as we look ahead. Okay, what is this storm doing right now? How is it initializing and what does this mean going forward over the next 24, 48, 72 hours? It's essential to forecasting hurricanes in this day. All right, glad you keep an eye on it, Rachel. Thank you.